Right, I've reached a little oasis um, patch. I've swapped my straw hat for the veil now. Because a wind blows through and it actually cools your neck as well. I find with the hat, it's just like, it works, but it's, um, this is better. You get like an air blowing through this. And you keep the sun off this, off your back of your neck. Anyway, look at this lovely little lush place. The sheep were just coming and they saw me. They stopped there. I took a picture of them. Then they turned around. They've probably come here for a drink. Bless them. That's beautiful, isn't it? Very inviting. The sheep are only just up here. They'll probably run away and they're probably thirsty. Yeah, it's very pretty, that bit. Nice bit of shade for a minute. Yeah, so it's good to find these other coombs, you know, because um, there's so much beauty around. I didn't even know about this coombe. Well, I heard of it. Why it's called Smith's Coombe, I've got no idea. See, there's a lovely breeze just flowing through now. Hello, sheepies. Hello. I'm just passing through. And you're probably thinking, oh, mad humans, what are they coming this way for? Oh, that's lovely, that. Oh, now there's lots of water here. Lots of water. Right, the battery had to be put on. It's your battery charger. I thought it probably would. I think it goes quicker when it's hot weather as well. Right, so we've moved on a bit. And uh, I've got the battery charger on. I'll be quite happy if I don't really worry too much if it doesn't last, say, going back down through Holford Glen as such. Because I've done that before. It's mainly to do with coming up here. I use quite a lot of uh, film at uh, Old Fox and House. Well, you can feel that you're slowly going up. But what a beautiful coombe. I mean, it's a bit off the track from um, Holford Green. You know, it's a bit off the track, but it's an alternative one to come down. Or to even come along, say you wanted to park at um, East Quantock Head, you could easily get here. I can see the heathers are starting to come out. It? See the heather up there? It's starting to emerge. Of course, it's like a tinderbox here, you know. They do have deliberate fires. There's a special name that the farmers call it. They do it every year. They deliberately... It's controlled burning. Well, like I say, this is like a tinderbox here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's turning out so far to be worthwhile. Whether I won't be able to say that completely until I get through, in case there's any barriers further up, see. It might say, well, you've, you've come through this part of the coombe, but now we want you to go back. I don't know yet. There's big fern trees. There's a big oak tree. There's some big fern trees coming out. I've seen them in the distance. Once again, a bit of 
videoing so you can see exactly where I'm going. This is known as Smith's Coombe. It's off the Coleridge Walk and uh, it's a junction point. I can feel I'm going uphill as well now. I can feel the that we're gradually going up and up. You don't always know it, but I can tell from my breathing that it immediately gets affected. I said, could be a dead end, Jesse. That looks like an old wall of some sort, doesn't it? There's a history to everything. Big fern tree, hello. Like I said, don't forget, I've never done this before. I've never been here. Across the stream, a little bit of shade again. The shade is helping. Quite a lot actually, the shade. I'm having to string a lot of small videos together in order to capture the photos as well. I didn't bring an extra camera because it's such a lot more to carry. The water takes priority. In the winter I, I might decide to bring a, another camera but, and keep it just for doing the photos. I have to stop the video. Like now. 